According to NUDO's top leadership, some members of the affected communities are excluded from the 1904-1908 genocide negotiations with the German government. Party President Azerumbai says the negotiations are currently being handled without extensive consultations with affected communities. Government, however, has already appointed Special Envoy Dr. Zed Gavirwe to head talks with the German counterpart Ruprecht Polens. There are also technical committees headed by representatives by the of the Nama, Ovaherero and Ovampanderu communities that have been engaging German authorities. But still, Nudo believes President Gainkop's intervention is needed. Our coming to the president is to unlock that deadlock for him to intervene so that this uh, can be unlocked, this deadlock can be unlocked. And uh, really there we, 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 we have uh, really received um, a very good answer uh, or that I cannot reveal now that uh, we are going to, to discuss and engage. Uh, and I believe and I'm confident that at the end the, a solution will be found. The opposition party also requested for wider consultations by central government before drought relief food is distributed in rural areas. No matter that uh, some areas of, of the country receive some good rains, there are really uh, areas such as uh, in Erongo, in Kunene, uh, in Arminius. Uh, there are some places in the country that really that is uh, really uh, still experiencing the burden of, of drought. And we need to continue to assist them through you know, the drought scheme. Following the closed-door meeting, Nudo leadership said that the current challenges experienced by the country need not to be left solely to government alone to solve, and hailed President Gengop's open-door policy towards opposition party inputs. Blanche Corres, NBC News.